My writing retreat in the French Alps. Well, it is a fantastic place. It is beautiful. It's in the mountains. The weather was gorgeous. The food was delicious. And we had a very nice host, Esther Jacobs. And uh, she had some wonderful workshops to work with as a like a red thread through your writing experience. Well, I learned that uh, to write the back cover of your book is somehow giving you the, 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 um, the, in, the input to get the content straight. So also the cover, when you see the cover, you see Esther is very good in kind of making you enthusiastic about getting your cover ready. And then you have to start filling the content. But once you see a cover, it's like an inspiration that really kind of inspires you to get the content in that book because it's like a blank page. You have a beginning and you have an end, but now you have to fill in your life, so to speak. Uh, so that is uh, something that I find very applicable in the course. Well, the beauty I find is, which is something I, ha I could not have thought before I was starting the book. It's like, it's very confrontational with yourself. That's the first thing, because it's your story. It's your feelings. It's your content that you share with others. So I find it, there is confrontation in writing, uh, but there's also growth in writing. So I think what I get from this, I feel myself growing in the story. It's like you really have to own your own story. You have to go for that story. And I do feel moments where I feel very insecure suddenly. It's like, oh my God, I, I cannot write this book. I mean, geez, it's I mean, there's a front, but I don't have the content yet. So that is a challenge, but it, it's a growth process. It's really a very deep personal growth process. Um, I have a background as a clinical doula in the Netherlands. Uh, in the Netherlands, there are no doulas involved in hospital. They usually work as entrepreneurs or are they independent? And I, ca I got this job 12 years ago um, and I work with women with trauma in their birth, uh, maternal trauma, but also uh, maybe physical trauma and I help women to basically support them in their birth process um, and during birth and in pregnancy. And uh, I also help them to find their own voice because basically I find that women have a very, I mean, including myself, to find your voice and to express yourself from a position of strength instead of weakness. I think that's what women need in the process of pregnancy because they're very vulnerable and they need to find their voice and take their own directions and not be controlled or at least use the voice in that uh, process of giving birth. That's what my book is about. <laughs> yes, that's what my book is about.